So I got a ticket for multiple things and I thought I knew my rights, but I didn't. I want to explain the situation carefully so all things can be seen from all perspectives so it's understood of what I did and what the cop did. The one thing I did not know going into this situation that a lawful order is something you have to follow if a police officer tells you to do so. I was told multiple times, went back and forth, it got me in a way bigger situation than I thought it was gonna put me and in. And I think that's where majority of the entire situation went wrong. Driving on the road, and I'm finding out where I'm going, I'm looking at my phone, setting it down, looking at my phone, kind of like looking at directions, and a, a California Highway Patrol CHP officer pulls up on the left of me, I look over, I see him, and he just nods his head no, gets behind me, flips on his lights. I'm in my 240SX, and all I can think of is that he's got a reason to pull me over, Hopefully Hopefully there isn't anything else he can get me for, but I'm like, oh yeah, I have Arizona license plate. But that didn't help me at all, to the fact my car was registered in a different state. So I, I have to pop my hood. If I don't pop my hood, then, then why? I don't think that's a lawful order. I, I don't know. I've, I've seen this happen multiple times. I've never seen someone that has to pop their hood. I don't understand. I mean, there's nothing I was doing. I mean, lawful I mean, what order. I do, I was driving straight on the, on the street. Yeah, no, and it's, it's registered over there because you live over there. And because I did not know if he was allowed to ask me that or not. He was asking me from a lawful order, which I thought was just something they made up because I've seen cops lie sometimes and that's why it had me at hesitance. I thought he was, I thought it was a, a trick to, to put me into more deeper trouble. Like if an officer asks you, uh, sir, do you know how fast you're going? And if you answer, like say if you're breaking the law and you tell him how fast you're going, then he can use that information against you. So I thought he was telling me to do something I didn't have to do and he was gonna use that information against me. I was afraid of popping my hood because he pulled me over for being on my phone. So I didn't want to get myself in deeper trouble for no reason. Me not knowing that a lawful order is a real thing that you have to follow. Don't do what I did. I can tell already there's a thing, right? You can see it, I mean, that's... I can see that. Okay, so I mean, just a motor. I mean, just what makes the car run? Okay, pop your hood. I know I don't have to. I've, I've seen I this stuff. Like you have to. I don't understand why. Like, I was driving a train. How? How's it gonna be impounded? Like, what do you do? Go How would I go to jail? I want to work with you, but that's unreasonable. So you put me up on my phone. It's obvious there's a modification to your car. I just don't see the reason to be popping my hood. For what reason? I mean, the car is not even registered to the state, so it doesn't make sense that I have to pop my hood for this You're state. In California, correct? Yes, You're in but. California, correct? You have a California driver's license. There is a home for this car license. in Arizona. This car can be kept and left in Arizona and is driven in Arizona also. It doesn't mean it can be driven in California. Okay, so then it's illegal for anybody else here with an Arizona license to drive here? It's illegal for them to drive here with modified emissions. But they do have cars over there with, without carb. Because it's an older car, does it still have to buy by those rules? Can I reach out to my lawyer about this? Uh, officer, when you said that he would have to get a lawful order for it if he didn't want to willingly open it, what, what does that involve? Don't mind me asking him. He has to open the hood, okay? If he doesn't, he's disobeying a lawful order from a peace officer. It's within law because it's a law saying that it's subject to mechanical inspection. It's sure that helpful. Let's just say theoretically, if it did have maybe like a different intake on it, what does he get? A fix it ticket to correct the issue? Possibly, depending on what's going on underneath the hood. How would I go to someone in California when it's registered already in Arizona? I know if, if it was registered here, then it would go through the smog and That's the vehicle That's why it's like, I'm not trying to get tied up in California stuff with my Arizona car. Where are you headed right now, man? Go to the Willow Springs Raceway. We're responsible and we, we do it there. We don't do it, you know, elsewhere. Well, that supervisor's on his way and then we'll let him tell you what's going on. That there. sounds good. Does that make sense? Like if you're speeding in California, yeah. you're required to abide by that law. Same goes with any kind of mandatory emissions. Okay. So, top of all that, the same law applies to when I tell you that you're subject to an inspection and you're required to pop the hood. Okay. You want to pop the hood? No, I don't consent to any searches. That's not a search. I called a friend and a lawyer. My friend that gets pulled over multiple times, his name is Alex Choi. He uses a guy called Ticket Defenders. And so basically, I asked him for some advice of what I should do. The cops told me to pop my hood. What should I do? He said, you don't have to pop it. He told me to tell the officer that I don't agree to a search. You know, like I, I don't consent to a search. And they said it wasn't a search. It was a lawful order to, to check the car for emissions. Well, officer. What's going on, sir? How are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Good. He doesn't want to pop it. 
I mean, I've, I just don't consent any searches. I, mean, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, I just, you're required to by the law. It's not a search. California Vehicle Code says that we're, when we suspect that you've got modifications to your car, which the exhaust indicates that, because there's no reason to have an exhaust like that with increased output from your car unless you got increased input. Okay? So that's our probable cause to, to inspect your vehicle because the emission laws in California okay, but want I, clean air. But I don't consent to that. It's something you're required to do if a police officer asks you to do. It's not a search, it's an inspection. There is a difference. So what's your reservation about having this officer here inspect your car? There's no reason. I just, I was, well, there is a reason. You have a modified exhaust in your car. I know. Like I, like I explained to you. I wasn't pulled over for that. So hold on. Hold on just a second, okay? okay. So I'm going to do you the respect of listening to you when you talk to me. Okay? Yes, sir. But I ask you the same respect that when I'm talking to you, because it's not going to work for us both to talk over each other. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. That's not why you pulled you over, okay? Why didn't you pull him over? So, okay, cell phone, okay? But if we stop you and we, and we notice other things about your car, that's also something we can look into. Does that make sense? Yeah. So as he's pulling you over, you notice you have a modified exhaust, which as I explained to you, there's really no reason for you to have a modified exhaust like that on your car, unless your engine has increased it. But really right now, if you do have something that's not carb legal under there, then you're just looking at a ticket. It's a fixing ticket. There's just no reason. Sure. I, I, I was on my, you pulled me over being on my phone and, and now I'm here because... So that's what I keep trying to explain to you. There is a reason. The reason is, is you have an illegal exhaust on your car. You cannot okay. have that exhaust on your car in California. That's illegal. Take it back to Arizona then. Okay, well, you're in California. Okay, well, can I just take it back to Arizona then? Well, we're going to look under your hood first. Why? I don't consent to that. No reason to expect it. There is a reason to expect it. Listen. Every car has an exhaust. That Every car doesn't have this exhaust right here. Like, even that truck has an exhaust way bigger than mine. Cut off right there in the center. It has a bigger output than this car should have. For that truck, that is the correct exhaust. For this car, that is not the correct exhaust. So why is it such a big deal? Because in California, they, they, they're trying to work on emissions. Okay, when you have more emissions coming out of your car, that creates more smog. That's Dude, why those laws are three in place. cops here, bro. This is crazy. This sucks. Kobe's talking to his stepdad, which is a lawyer. So I've been here for about 25 minutes now. I think they're just like waiting for me to break or something, but I know my car is fine and there's no reason to be popping my hood. There's four cops here now. Dude, so much. I feel I was very respectful to the cops. I was trying to exercise my rights, didn't know my rights. I was in the wrong for that. I, I want to make that very clear. I am in the wrong for what is going on, but the situation went a little wrong also. It could have just been a cell phone ticket, but it became so much more because of the car I was driving in the state that I was in. My thing is, yes, it's me operated on California roads, so maybe because of that they could get us to open it. If it was ticketed, you'd prove the car doesn't live here, and then it would get dropped, you know? So, I don't know. It's a waste of time on all parties. There's so many other things going on out there, and they got four cars out here on me. You understand, you'd rather spend time in jail than have them off the hood and get a ticket? How would I spend time in jail? Because you're not following his law of order. I don't consent to search. If you don't, you're going to go to jail for disobeying a uh, lawful of order from an officer. That's a misdemeanor. Okay, what's your decision? I don't consent to you guys searching my car. Okay. Alright, I guess let's show the car. Up up. Go up here. 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 Officer Tiger, Officer Grayson. Officer Grayson, since I'm literally just a passenger, may I get out so I can stretch my feet? Officer Taggart's been making me sit in here. There's no reason. He just, just so he, for, for your safety, safety I understand. But now, may I get out now? Uh, just have a seat right here. They're ready to deal with you. They'll, they'll talk to you. Deal with you. See. All right, then. Yeah, 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 just hang out right here. Uh, you can actually leave. Yeah. Do I, I don't have to, do I? Yes. Yeah, you do. Well, I'll stand back here and turn him out of the way. I need my, I need my laptop. Okay. You're not going back in the car. 
Go okay. stand over there. I'll get your laptop. Okay, relax. I'm not, I'm not seriously chilling. Let's get in my thing. Yeah, we're homies. What do you expect? Just like you guys got each other's backs, we got each other's back. He's, he doesn't consent to searching either. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. I told him no. He's under arrest now. I, exactly. So even, but even to the, He's not under arrest. Yeah, he either. is. He wasn't read any Miranda rights. This is all, I'm pretty sure this is all legal. No, it's not illegal. We're not questioning him. Did he, was he read his Miranda rights? Read his Miranda rights if we're going to question him further about okay. this. Okay. We're not questioning him further. We don't, we're not going to I'm read him asking. his Miranda rights. I'm just asking. There you go. Yeah, but it's not registered here. It goes under its annual inspection every time the renewal of the registrations do. So, where does it dri drive? Arizona. I don't know where I'm at right now. Calm down. This whole situation sucks. I absolutely love driving my car. I put my heart and soul into that car and making that thing perfect. Suki. And it sucks that it was taken from me so easily. Let's say theoretically there was something that's not car compliant. Isn't it just gonna get a ticket and then it's gonna get dropped when, the, when it's proven that the vehicle's not? He had that option. I know, but it's wasting your guys' time too. One. And then it's gonna show that he didn't get, what is it, like a conviction rate or something? That the ticket was just dropped and he it was proven? He had an option. That and he chose to actually go to jail. You seem like a reasonable guy. Is that a straight six? If we weren't in this situation, I would tell you every single little detail about that more than you would want to know. That's why this used to be a Honda Prelude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing that out there. No. What was it? I'm not gonna tell you. Huh? 240S SX. Is that in the ballpark? More accurate? I don't know. I'll come get you. You're not gonna fit in it. Huh? Are you trying to drive it or push it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it, the, the general, the officer put it in there. I think. This is the stupidest Literally in the middle of Palmdale. Corey just got arrested. I'm stuck here without my wallet. Corey's in jail. They're taking his car. It's stupid. This is so stupid. So this new flatbed just showed up and now he's trying to see where he could hook it from. I'll get an Uber, that's fine. I was gonna say maybe you, yeah, you're good, thanks. Have a good day. Well, that guy just recognized me, recognized Corey's car. I was about to hit. There he goes, <laughs> up. Called it, look at it. Don't step behind the vehicle. Dude, relax, bro. Service manager, I know what people do. So I called Charlie. Charlie's literally on his way to Bobby's birthday, so he's gonna turn around and come get uh, me, so. Yeah. Sucks. That's why this used to be a Honda Prelude. <laughs>